can't control the people around you, you can't control the circumstances, all you can control is your effort. So that's what I'm looking forward to. To land it all on the line here, last workout of the day. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Ohio Expo Center in Columbus, Ohio, for our continuing live coverage of the 2013 Central East Regional Competition. I'm Sean Woodland alongside Bill Grundler. We talked about who would be the potential five qualifiers, but they get two spots because of two previous champions there. He was always in the mix, but now he finds himself after day one sitting in eighth place. And Marcus Hendrick will pick up his first victory of the Central East Competition. And so here we are, the end of day two. There is still a day left, but this is such a highly contested region. What do you need to do to make sure you're on the leaderboard at the end of tomorrow? Something like that. I probably need to be top three, top five in the next two events if I have any shot at going to California this year. So get some rest, be ready to go tomorrow morning. Fantastic. Well, good luck tomorrow. But what stands out to me, Marcus Hendren, he was expected to be a shoo-in in this race, and there he sits in the seventh place position. What do you think about that? I, why is he doing that? I, I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, I, I feel a little bit bad. It's about how in the Northeast, after day one, he would have been sitting in second place. In the NorCal region, after day two, he would have been sitting just behind Jason Kalipa. So what does this just show again, time over time, that the Central East men is a thick, level of competition with tons of very, very strong competitors. One second, the event record will not pass, but Dan Bailey, oh, it's a mad wow. dash to the end, and every athlete oh, finishing in 5.09. Weigel, Bailey, Holmberg, Patrick, and Froning. It's going to be pretty fierce. I mean, you can see it right there in the Jackie workout. It came down to, I think, a hundredth of a second. It's hands down the most competitive region, so. I think to come out of this region really says a lot about you as an athlete. Here you comes me? Panchik, and he's going to beat Jason Kalipa's time by about 14 seconds. Graham Holmberg. The only guy to ever take Rich down. He's like, if you don't think you're not going to take him down, you shouldn't be here. He wants to take him down. Your margin for error now that it's week four, and everybody's practiced these and done these and seen the times. Your margin for error is so small. It's kind of like getting a, a stamp of approval on your CrossFit career when you make it out of the Central East Regional. Because of how good it is, how competitive it is. So. And Dan Bailey has the bar down, and here comes Rich Froning. Rich Froning has now moved into first place, and Rich Froning has his sights on the third event record. That's the beauty of CrossFit is you never know who's coming from where and uh, what event the next person's going to make a name for himself. I basically devoted my last four years of my life to, um, you know, achieving that goal. And with my my work schedule, with just everything going on in my life, you know, this may be the last kind of last hurrah. So you know, for me to go out, it, you know, go out on top, it just mean the world to me. So. and that's exactly what he needed. He was sitting in sixth place to 34 points. This is going to do great things for his standing. We got a no rep. Here comes the champ. Nick Foy still up. He wants to get to that podium. He doesn't have to worry about is there going to be an extra spot. He wants that top three. And Foy came out of nowhere. He did exactly what he needed to do. He was so strong on those lunges. And Nick Foy now was in sixth overall. He was 12 points back, so he's helping his cause. And we're setting ourselves up for a scramble at the end in Event 7. Well, as we've said, there are two former Games champions in the Central East men's region, which means it could open up a couple of extra spots to the Games. So, Scott's in third place, Graham's in fourth place. 28 points and 29 points. If Graham takes third place, both Scott and Nick go to the Games. Cool, thanks. I like that. But, but, oh, you chicken shit. The final heat, the final event of the weekend here in the Central East Regional. In this next workout, if Graham beats Scott Pancek yeah, yeah. and moves into third place, and Scott Pancek goes to fourth place, and you do well, you stay in fifth, you'll go to the games. But if Scott stays in third place, Graham. And Graham finishes fourth place. They won't. They're saying they won't take this place. A lot of different.
different scenarios that can get him there a couple different ways. But if he wins, he's certainly going to help that great boy. Graham Holmberg and Scott Patrick, here comes Graham Holmberg. Graham Holmberg is really the key guy here. He currently sits in fourth. Nick doesn't get to go to the game, but you still get to go to the game. So I gotta, I'm working to get two guys in. <laughs> so right now, there are four spots available because Rich Froning is in the top three. If Holmberg works his way into the top three, that would open up two more. So now five men would go. Now what are you going to say to him? I'm going to say, Grant, you better beat Scott. I've been trying for four years to get to the game. Don't let me down now. He is moving and doing exactly what he needs to do. He cannot slow down at this point. So in a way, you and Green control a little bit of Nick's. Uh... I'm going for first place. I don't care about any, anything else. And now Graham Olber, Scott Panchik, and Gerald Sass are all making their way back down for their final round of rope climbs. That's, you don't go into a workout thinking about anyone but yourself, especially in an individual sport like CrossFit. What if the eventuality occurs that it is Graham Holmberg in the fourth spot? Yeah, just tell us, just tell us, what are the rules? Are you going to take this place? If Graham, if Graham takes fourth and Rich takes first, are you going to take this place? What are the official rules for the region? We got to finish top three to qualify. But what if... All we know for sure, three men are definitely going. If one of those past champions locks up a spot in the top three, they'll open up another one. But waiting on the success of someone else is probably not a situation you want to be if you hope to make it to the CrossFit Games. If you rest or take it easy for just a second, your trip to the Games might just get taken away. There's a, there's a chance that I could get beat and fall down to six, so I gotta do what I gotta do to stay in fifth. So whatever happens with them and whatever happens with the standings, it's, it's gonna happen. I mean, both them deserve to go. I, I'd like the shot as well. So Nick Forey. Well, Nick, Nick has to beat Nick. Nick has to beat Marcus Hendren, and um, he's sitting pretty good in fifth. Uh, Hendren can beat him. But it has to be pretty by a lot. It can't just be by one place. Correct. And he's looking so smooth and so strong right now. Correct. Yeah. So basically, Nick Forey, a lot of Nick Forey's destiny. Did you hear my prediction? No, what? why he wanted to CrossFit. Uh, we're totally against it. The last, the first time they ever even saw CrossFit was last year at regionals, the very last event they came. They were bewildered. They had, it was just all too much for them to take. And then he quit farming in September 2012. And um, it was difficult still with him and his family. Uh, but he continued to train seven days a week. And his mom and dad actually came and at the very end we're happy, smiles, and we're congratulating him. Congratulations! Congratulations. My favorite. This is your grandpa. Grandpa, dad, mom. Brother, 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 sister. Oh, happy. 
We're extremely happy. We're on top of the world. <laughs> I think he I'm waited a little too long. What do you think? Keep this pace, I'll tell you what. He's a farm boy, and he knows hard work, and he's doing exactly what he needs to do right now, and not shut down. He needs to show his family, hey, you know what? This is what I do. I am a crossword. I'm going to make this happen.